Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, good to have you here. Good to be with you. Come with me. Let me show you something that's going on here. Walk with me through the shadows of the trees here. <sighs> Upsetting. This is Upset OSG. And uh, me as well. Just look at this. What the hey, y'all. Look at my daggum boot compared to the size of this hole. Everywhere. Massive, massive holes here. Massive, massive holes. The bird feeder, which has turned into a everything feeder, also producing a lot of traffic down here. And look at all these little hoofy prints. Actually, they're not even little. Those are actually good. Those are good size. I've pretty much had it with this beeswax, y'all. This, this hog. I can't tell if it's gimpy or another bigger hog, or if Gimpy has just grown and got over his limp. But here lately, he has just been coming into the yard and destroying it. And just when the grass is really starting to grow, the old Kentucky bluegrass that's been in the yard, I mean, even up here, what the heck? What the heck, man? He's even been right up here in the top portion of the yard. It's not like I'm putting feet, I haven't even put corn out in the yard at all lately. It's just springtime, I guess. Grubs are in the ground. He knows they're here. He's coming back in the same areas. He's even messed up my little retaining walls over here. Just, I have had it. And I have i don't know how many videos of this hog just coming in and now just destroying the place. So we gotta do something about it, y'all. So anyway, that saga continues over at the Lake Life Family Channel. If you have not subscribed yet, go do it. Please just go subscribe to the family channel. That's me, OSG, Emmy, and the creatures around the treehouse. The channel just needs to get to 100,000 subscribers, and I know there's plenty of you out here watching the videos. Perfectly capable with your fingers right now. You have the power to go make that a 100,000 subscriber channel. Our comments are disabled over there, and I can't communicate with YouTube through the Lake Life channel until it reaches 100,000 subscribers. They just won't even acknowledge that I exist over here. Not having comments takes away a ton of the fun in the channel. It takes away the ability for you to communicate with us and us to communicate back to you uh, without just saying things on the camera. You know, it's, it's the point of YouTube and social media. Which brings me to my next agenda. I've been thinking about this for about the past year and it has just finally reached the point where I, I am ready, the channel is ready. I hope you are ready. Uh, I want to bring in an editor on this channel. So that so far, it's just been me and Stephanie editing uh, all these videos. And the editing process, it just it takes up a lot of my time. One of the things that it holds me back from is creating more content. A lot of times I'm already thinking of the next video idea and editing holds me up from being able to go do that. Uh, and I've just got a lot of other stuff going on with uh, with Goog and Bates and, uh, and Goog and Squad and the other things we have going and that I, uh, I want to dedicate my time to. So my time is full, guys. It is full, and I need your help. I've had a couple of inquiries in the past, but I'm sending out the official word today. If you are interested in getting into this outdoor space, being an editor, where you're putting your spin, your creat creativity on uh, my footage and uh, working together on videos, on projects uh, for both the Lake Fort Guy channel uh, plus working with the Lake Life channel and maybe some other projects. Maybe you already have uh, quite a bit of experience and just looking, maybe you're looking for something to, to edit in the outdoor space instead of you know working on something else. I don't know, I know there's a ton of you out there and I wanted to ask you guys first before I started looking at, you know, but just asking around for people and going on job sites and stuff like that. I really don't wanna do that, I'd rather get somebody uh, that already kind of knows the content and already has a little bit of uh, a background on everything that we do. You don't have to be an editing whiz to apply for this position. When I started learning how to edit, I didn't know anything. Actually, when I became a camera guy, I didn't know anything about operating a camera. The point was though that I had, I had creativity and I had the eye. 
I had I'd fished so much, I'd been in the outdoors, I knew what to look for, and I, I knew what people would probably want to see. If you have that, at least, let me know. My email is down below. Please don't email me if you're not serious about it though. I wanna make sure to go through everyone that is serious and give them a good look. So uh, if you've got some links to some content, uh, leave it in the email where I can go view it. Uh, if you don't and you're still serious about it, just uh, let me know some of the reasons why uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna hire somebody. We're gonna hire somebody pretty soon. But I wanted to let you know first because I love you, you've been here a while, you are creative. There's tons of you that are just uh, very talented. I know this, and that's why I wanted to let you know first. <laughs> now, there's a lot of things I gotta do today. First of all, I need to get something to eat, and I haven't had Chick-fil-A today, so I'm probably gonna do that first. Chick-fil-A, you make my day. I swear I'm not sponsored by them. I would love to own a franchise one of these days, though. things I need to do today I've been meaning to do for weeks but it's just dangle time and it's hard it's hard to get away from the water and I need to finish this table this is where my tools gonna go and then I've got another one that I'm gonna be building for tackle and I'm gonna take some of these finishing nails right here and attach this top this is uh, for any of y'all that are curious 16 gauge inch and a half 38 millimeters if you're overseas put two by sixes on here and I've got some cedar posts on here as well but I'm just going around the edges and attaching the top I've got it positioned where I want it this table is is pretty easy to make I've just wood glued it squared it up the best I can it's not really square wood we'll see how far this one goes in here do a little tester I wanted to go all the way through definitely did turn it down not enough there we go. Now we can rock and roll with it. So even though this table isn't the most beautiful, it's designed to be functional, but something I do want to do is just take a border of some darker wood, maybe some black walnut or something like that, and go around the edges of this table just to give it a little better look. And it's not too hard to do, honestly. This was probably a hundred bucks of materials from uh, from Home Depot. Gonna have a bottom piece down here. Gonna do like a a smaller MDF board. It's gonna go in here, and then I'll be able to set tools inside of it. Still need to get uh, one board to run across there and one for down here to make that happen but at least we got the top secure I don't have a planer joiner so everything is not perfectly you know in line I've got some crookiness there but that's that's what the um, the little dark piece of wood that's gonna go around this border is gonna be for so I can cover up a little bit of that but that's basically what you can do with uh, some 4x4s, some 2x6s, and a little MDF board from Home Depot. Not too shabby. Guggen HQ. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the Guggen channel, this is our new space. This is where we come and create things. We just wrapped up yesterday uh, another good week. And our really our first week here at the warehouse, we gave away uh, one of the boats. We have uh, a couple of boats. If you sign up for the uh, monthly t-shirts, we give uh, a boat away, or have done that for the last uh, two years. This way we're giving away two. Had a nice, really nice Aggie family come up here actually from San Antonio, and they won the boat, went home with that, and right now we've got a bunch of toys in here. We got the Silver Bullet in here, Rob's boat's in here, we got the Free Range truck, uh, John's boat is here, and then we have a lot of our furniture from the old house sitting over here in the corner. So focus for this space now is to basically make this a content creation center and involve all the great outdoor things that we love. So what I wanted to do today was just bring up my uh, my archery target and my bow, shoot it around a little bit. We'll probably end up doing a 
a full-time archery center in here or archery corner and then just kind of clean up a little bit you know Guggen Week's a little crazy we get a little out of control luckily I'm close I'm probably gonna be up here a lot uh, so you guys can see some behind the scenes stuff right here on my channel and uh, we've got some of our back stock and Guggen baits for the store uh, we've got organized Rob actually inventory the whole entire thing we are getting ready to do an opening a grand opening of this place I think it's in June 15th but it's gonna be in June. So if you wanna see inside of the store and us building this place out, uh, all those videos are coming up soon on the Guggen Squad channel. Well, I had a bunch of uh, stuff from the Guggen house still at my house for some reason. Not really sure why. Why I had all these balls, why they ended up over here. Heads up, Carl, catch. Not so much. I have not touched these basketballs since the last basketball game we played. Uh, we actually did a sporting challenge yesterday and I injured my knee uh, and that's why I'm not exercising my lower body today um, and I really need to. Y'all, I'm leaving for New Zealand very soon. Another really nice thing about the warehouse is we can keep our gear here like the silver bullet and we can keep it clean. That's why we got a power washer and what the crap? I guess John left his rods in my uh, in my boat looks like he's got some pretty serious danglers going on there it's very fair to say it's been a bit disorganized up here since we've been moving in and this week was crazy because it was raining and hailing and we found out about some leaks that we didn't know were there <sighs> eventually i'd like to have both my garage and the guggen garage organized where we can come in here if, if we're running out of lures or something that's like oh, okay bandito bugs natural we got a whole bin right here you know crankbaits oh we got this oh we got all of our line right here all nice and organized we even got coffee right in here so when you're running low on that life gets pretty rough so we've even got that we've even got some mtb boxes in here this is old like fall stuff you know this is going to just get put by the wayside some good stuff in here though in this tundra from last year's hunt. So, it is way overdue for clean. Okay, I just wrapped up filming a little Instagram tip for you guys about spooling your line onto a spinning rail without getting any tangles. I'm just tying a little hook on here, just in case the dangle is in the near future. And while I got it in my hand, if you want to check out Guggen Line, just pulled up with some of the monofilament on a spinning rod, you can check it out at shopcarls.com. I'll leave the link down below. But that line is available and it's good, it's affordable, and I think you guys will enjoy using it. I need to get some more of these money bags because I realized these would be perfect for my uh, hunt in New Zealand. These size and, and a little bit smaller to put uh, camera gear, clothes, foods. Uh, these are really good for hunting as well. Maybe a little dense for, for my mountain hunt, but uh, hell, I'll probably use them anyway. It feels good that we actually have an office here now. Come up here, work. Uh, we actually got our lead producer here right now, Wes. He's working on some stuff. It's like a campus, you know? Guggen campus. I love it. Just opened my live well and realized there's some still some minnows in there. Can't believe it. Thought I got all these minnows out. I took the other extra minnows that were in there, put them in the, the fish tank that's in there, fed them to Gary, but I need to scoop these guys out somehow. Hopefully. Wow, did I get all of them on the first shot? That's pretty darn amazing. Okay, Gear. Let's see what you got, buddy. Actually, the bluegills might get them too. Oh, yep, bluegills trying to get them. Yep. Yep. And. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at 
at that bluegill. Voracious. Gary sees what's going on. Gary, you gonna let that nice succulent minnow just get right by you? I don't think so. Look at the quiver. These other ones are smart. They're staying in the herd. Gary has identified another one. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Oh, are you kidding me? You gonna let that slide? Get in there. Get in there on that minnow. Okay, well, he's not gonna eat. As a side note, the catfish is getting huge. That thing was like a finger length when we first put it in there. Power washers up. Actual washers still not put up. I put John B's rods up. Organized a lot of our lures and such play things. I feel accomplished. Lead producer, Mr. Wes Davis, leaving for the day. Did you get some beautiful content created today? Absolutely. Always getting the goods. Say goodbye, everybody. Mr. Wes, he's, he's the mastermind. He's the one that makes us Googans actually look good, uh, if that's even possible, but he's the man. I've never killed a turkey, still on the quest. And I'd love to kill one with my bow as well. Yeah, I'd like to kill one with a shotgun first, but killing one with a bow would be extra special. So it's nice we have the space where we can practice even in bad conditions. I was actually hunting turkey. I like to get down like this. Doink. I think we're still okay, folks. I actually felt really good right there pulling that bow back, and I think it's due to just working out a little bit more preparing for this hunt. So my buddy JT, he is hunting with his bow, like straight up. Like he is not even picking up a gun in New Zealand until he, uh, he gets one with a bow. That's how hardcore he is. And we're talking like an average shot, you know, 150, 300 yards usually. I can't wait to document his, uh, his experience with that. I'm kind of taking the cheater's way out. Not really the cheater's way, but traditional hunting, not using the bow just because I want to get it done. I've never done anything like this before. I want to make sure I get to enjoy the experience of harvesting an animal. But bow hunting, mad respect for all bow hunters. And on my bow, my stabilizer is actually a light. So if I wanted to stay up and get old hoggy, I could with this guy, but I'd rather not have him squealing with an arrow in him running through the neighborhood. That's why you have that rock right there. Thank goodness for OSG. Ooh, yes. You scared me. Did you hear me yell? I did. I, you, you're never out here. I know. You're always inside. If by the I way. wasn't. By the way, our daughter is right here. Well, I picked me up a passenger over at LF, LFDs. Oh, she's asleep now. She is asleep. She, she was so happy to have her bottle. This little, little bottle? Water bottle, yeah. <laughs> she was happy to have it. The simplest joys. Luckily, OSG, she's never outside because she's always inside with Emmy and she was right here. And uh, originally I passed my rock. This is my rock right here. That's how I know where to stop the boat. And uh, I went past the rock and I hit my I hit my motor right here, which I like having that there. You know, number one, it looks like a park, um, like a parks that I go to here in Texas and other states. But uh, it also it gives a nice little wooden deal right there for my prop to hit instead of these rocks. We got anything good for dinner tonight, honey? We sure do. What do we got? Chicken enchiladas. Chicken enchiladas, yes, what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, we're gonna shut it down right here. Um, thank you for coming along. Don't forget to email me if you want to be an editor, edit these vlogs. I'm doing fishing videos, like I do the more intense, you know, longer form fishing videos. I put out a couple of those a week. Those are my faves. I do vlogs like this, just kind of showing the day to day. And then I've also got the family vlogs over at the Lake Life Family Channel, stuff around here. Uh, so when we get an editor, it'll probably change up a little bit, but that's just kind of what we got for now. Hit the notifications on this channel, subscribe, but hit those little ding dongs so you don't miss a single dangle. And I just want to take a second to thank y'all because we just hit 700,000 subscribers on the LFG Fishing Channel. Y'all, that is amazing. When I started this channel, I had no clue, no number. When I started this channel, there wasn't even a whole lot of, of viewership on YouTube to begin with. So just to uh, have a, a consistent, steady growth, it hasn't been the fastest growing channel, hasn't had you know explosive growth or anything like that, uh, but I have to thank 
you guys because if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have this steady consistent growth right here and i'm not going to change my ways i'm going to keep keep doing what i'm doing and i love you guys i just want to say uh thank you for tuning in so go ahead and hit those ding dogs tune in for every single video and i do hope to see you right back here on the next one hope you're having a blessed day and i will see you next time